What's up guys, YouTube land, this is Phil from Playground Sessions, and I'm happy to be here today bringing you another song section lesson. Today, thanks to the Facebook community that voted on this lesson, we're gonna be learning how to play the rookie chorus to Cyndi Lauper's hit song, True Colors. That section we'll be learning today sounds like this. One, two, set, go. Alright, 100%. And by the end of this video, you guys are going to be able to play 100% as well. So, just like all these other tutorials on our channel here, I'm going to break down the right hand melody, the left hand harmonies, and we're going to put the hands together, and you'll be off on your way to finish the rest of the song in the app. Don't forget, we're doing a free trial, so for 30 days, with no strings attached, you can get full access to the interactive app, and you get three free song credits just for signing up as a bonus. So. Click the link in this video's description or tap that card above to start playing in the app for free today. Finish the song there. But for now, we gotta learn this section, right? So let's dive into this video now. We're gonna start with the right hand melody. Let's do it. First, our key signature, zero sharps, zero flats. That doesn't mean we don't have a key signature, but rather it means that the key signature is all white notes, right? It's no flats, no sharps. That tells us we're in the key of C major. The time signature for this arrangement is 4-2. Think about this as 4-4, four, four, but with our rhythms all stretched out so that they look a little less intimidating in notation. For many of our rookie level arrangements here in Playground, you'll see the 4-2 pretty commonly. So, all you need to keep in mind is when the scroll bar goes across the note, that's when you play it. But it's the same as 4-4, four, four, just sort of with a stretched out rhythmic feel. Now let's get into some notes. Our pinky is going to play a high A, so here's middle C, here's A, here's an octave above that. And that's where we're going to start. Next measure we see our fourth finger on G, keep moving, two on E, one on D, and then in the next measure our thumb's actually going to reach down to play the next note as well, which is C. Okay, then we go two on E, four on G, so our pinky can play A again. Next measure, A, G, all the way down to C, and right back up to A. Now, next measure, another A. Now, four on G, back to A. One more G. Now, third finger's reaching down to E. Two on D, we'll do two of those. Thumb on C. Another thumb on C in the next measure. Now, final line down. Same C again, but this time we're shifting our hand position down, so our fourth finger is going to play that C, so our thumb can play G in the second half of that measure. Then our fourth finger goes right back to C. Next measure, another C, thumbs on G again. Next measure, five up to E, then four on D, another four on D. Then we're going to rest, and we're going to play B with one, and C with two. And that's all there is to it. So those are the key signature, the time signature, and the notes, hand positions, and fingers. All we need to do is talk a little more about rhythm. But in order to do that, I'd actually like to just cue up our band at the slow tempo. So we're gonna play these notes in rhythms in context with the actual song, but it's still gonna be slower than the actual recording. And that's gonna give us more time to think what's ahead and get these rhythms down. So let's do that now. One, two, set, Go. play back with me at that slow speed, but when you're ready, let's now go to full speed. One, two, set, go.
Yes, 100%. So there's the right hand. Now let's shift gears and start talking about the left hand. Because this is the rookie level arrangement, we don't have full chords in the left hand part, but rather just single note root harmonies. So let me break it down for you one measure at a time. Our first note is F. We're gonna play that with our two finger. We've got two of those. Then two C's with our fifth finger. Two G's with our thumb. Then we go to E's. Then F's. C's. Back to F's. Now next line down, thumb on G. Back to F. C's again. A lot of repeated notes. Now next measure we play two E's. Now this time our thumb's reaching up to A. Then two finger on F. Next line down, pinky on C. Two back to F. Five back to C. Thumb on G. We're gonna do an extra measure of that. And then another measure of that. And our final measure is a G whole note. There we have it. Why don't we try this at full speed? I think we can go ahead and skip over our slow tempo for now. But if you feel that you're still not ready, please go back and play with me at that out of time walkthrough. But when you are ready, let's try at full speed now. One, two, set, go. Another hundred guys, we got the right hand down, we got the left hand down. All we need to do now is put the hands together. So I'm gonna walk you through that now, but first let me remind you, that's right, this is just one section of the song at one difficulty level. So if you wanna learn this song in other difficulty levels and learn the whole song, or if you wanna say, I'm done with this song, I wanna learn a brand new one, something in a completely different style, new genre. You can do it all in the app guys. The Playground Sessions interactive app, has it all, it's super, super fun, and it grades you as you play, which actually makes it a really great learning tool, aside from being just fun to use. I know you're gonna love the app, that's why we're offering a free trial for 30 days with no strings attached, which means you can really try it. You can learn in the app for 30 days. And if you're not feeling it, you can cancel at any time. That's what no strings attached means. That's how confident we are that you're gonna love the app. So click the link in this video's description or tap that card above to finish this song in the app. Let's go ahead and do hands together now in this video though, and then you're off on your own. Here we go. Because the left hand is all half notes, we can think of it as our rhythmic anchor. Make sure to play every two beats in the left hand. And once you've gone through the part enough to know exactly what notes are used and what notes come next, you should be able to spend the majority of your attention actually on the right hand. So that's what I would encourage you to do. Spend a lot of time on the left so that you can put it on autopilot and then, obviously, you want to spend enough time with the right, too. But then when you're putting the hands together, you could put more of your attention on that right hand part. So do that first, then meet me back here. We're just going to jump right into a medium tempo run through. One, two, set, go. We are super, super close, but if you still need extra time at the slow tempo, don't be in a hurry. We gotta make sure we're doing it. practicing and repetition, not just one time and then moving on. So don't be in a rush, but when you are ready, then it's time to wrap up this video with me. We're gonna go full speed now. Let's go. One, two, set, go.
All right, yes, another 100%. You guys, I'm addicted to getting 100%, I think. It's probably a problem, but practicing along with the app, it'll do that for you. You get 100% once, you want to see it again. You get 95%, you want to get it up, 96, 97. You end up practicing a lot more times than you would without the app. It's just another thing that makes the app pretty cool. So guys, I'm Phil. I hope you finish this song in the app, and I hope I see you for the next video lesson here on Playground's YouTube channel. The features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the Playground Sessions app. Co-created by music legend Quincy Jones, Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. All right, guys, I'm Phil. Hit subscribe so I can see you for the next video.